Dabur, as you know it, uh, works with the vision of being dedicated to the health and well-being of every household where we reach to uh, with our products. Um, being established in 1884, we have grown to be the world leader in Ayurveda with a portfolio consist consisting of over 250 products in the herbal or Ayurvedic product category, thus earning us the name the custodian of Ayurveda. And through this, we reach uh, it towards uh, an, a cross section of uh, consumers across uh, generation and across geographies by combining age old traditional wisdom with modern day science in our everyday products and reaching across 120 countries in the globe. Our portfolio is quite diverse. Uh, it, it has a scattering of categories starting from personal care to skin care to skin wash to hair care, oral hygiene, health supplements, and foods and drinks. One of our most famous products that you might be acquainted with would be Dabur Honey, which is world's number one honey brand. And apart from this, we also have the power brands in the hair care category, such as Dabur Amla Hair Oil and Dabur Vatika. And in the oral hygiene category, we have our leaders, which are the Dabur Red Toothpaste and Dabur Meswap Toothpaste. Apart from this, uh, from the Balsara acquisition, we also have Odemos, which is our mosquito repellent, and Odonil, which are our room fresheners. Um, we might also be acquainted with Hajmola. Uh, some of us have known of this product since we were children. And um, yeah, the, the products are pretty much uh, well scattered across the categories and reach towards a diverse portfolio of consumers and, and meet their everyday requirements. So back to the details of the Campus Ambassador Program itself. What is the Campus Ambassador Program? The program is basically a bridge between Dabur Bangladesh and the respective universities where we will be reaching out by uh, taking on board one ambassador per university for the timeline of one year, during which the Campus Ambassadors will get to participate in executing our various campaigns on and off campus. What would it would be in it for the campus ambassadors themselves? Uh, starting off, of course, uh, the campus ambassadors would get to have monthly active participation in executing our various uh, engagements related to our many brands and many products, um, both on and off campus. Uh, apart from their engagements in the marketing department or in the marketing sector, they will also get very root level exposure to how sales works in the industry and how the uh, FMCG industry on a whole operates within the country. Apart from simply marketing and sales, they would also be getting exposure into operations, supply chain, finance, and um, many more departments uh, as is within our company and get to see firsthand how uh, these departments operate and how the various obstacles are faced within the departments and how we drive solutions through our very creative minds, which brings us to the second thing, which would be the quarterly mentoring and learning sessions from these amazing minds, which bring forward the solutions and drive the uh, initiatives and campaigns for the uh, company. Uh, during these learning sessions, you'd get acquainted with the heads of various departments, starting from HR to marketing to finance to supply chain, you name it. And we would be facilitating these learning sessions with these very learned um, employees here at Dabur Bangladesh. And depending upon these uh, participations in various campaigns and learning sessions, and based on the assessments from your mentors or the mentors of the campus ambassadors during these projects, uh, the ambassadors would be onboarded as interns based on their performance. Uh, the camp campus ambassadors would also get to engage in various projects based on their uh, multiple skill sets, whichever they bring on board during their uh, intern, their campus ambassadorship period, and is something that we can easily translate uh, during uh, their internship period as well. And uh, should they do great in the internship following the year of their ambassadorship program, there's also a lineway or a pathway for direct employment within the company for the top performers. So who are the people who 
would be eligible to apply for the campus ambassadorship program. For now, we are targeting the second and third year students of the year 2022 uh, who would be proactive, meaning they would be looking at data sets and information and trying to find out the problems within that are hidden within them who would be creative enough to find their own solutions and uh, not be shy to bring them forward to the forum and be outgoing enough to drive those solutions and see the results for themselves uh, while being mentored by our esteemed employees who have been running these departments for a very long time, running these campaigns for a very long time. And the campus ambassadors will get a chance to um, be engaged within these projects uh, from the ideation to the execution uh, throughout the time period of one year. So um, one question we often get during the eligibility phase is if a second year student is a campus ambassador for the year 2022, will they be eligible as a third year student uh, in 2023 as well? Uh, of course they will be because uh, the onboarding is done entirely based on the performance and top performers uh, from the year 2022 would of course still be eligible as a campus ambassador in their third years. Um, so uh, apart from this, uh, we would also be onboarding uh, the campus ambassadors based on what skill sets they bring to the table. Uh, this means uh, the soft skills and hard skills that they themselves have harnessed throughout uh, their educational uh, timeline, uh, the soft skills being the interpersonal skills that they have, the ability to manage people, to interact with people, to reach out to the most uh, people within their university communities and have an engaging interaction as well, because they would be our face on campus for the products that they will be representing. And apart from this, we would also be giving a bit of importance on the hard skills that they bring to the table. Uh, any level of expertise or proficiency in Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, basically Microsoft Office Suite, whatever skills or uh, proficiencies you can bring forward in uh, Microsoft Office would be given uh, a much of a, hi a higher priority, uh, along with Illustrator skills and Photoshop skills, because when you will be engaged in the various campaigns for, say, the marketing department or the sales department, these hard skills will come into play during the ideation and execution phases, uh, giving you a bit of an edge over the others. So, of course, anybody with uh, any redeeming um, soft skills and hard skills would, of course, be highlighted. Um, as for the CGPA, a lot of uh, you often have a question whether or not higher CGPA would get higher priorities, uh, which, um, of course, it would be a highlightable point, but uh, we would, of course, we would rather be looking at how the student themselves are uh, carrying themselves while on field or while in the project. So uh, while the CGPA would be a good reflection of how they are in their academics, uh, we would be focusing more on the soft skills and hard skills that they bring to the table and how their analytical mindset works uh, would definitely give them an edge over the others. So uh, if you do want to sign up, our registration links are available on our Facebook careers page. And the deadline for registration is the 10th of April at 11.59 p.m., giving you quite a bit of time to sign up on the link and to give in your details. Uh, please do be sure to put in as much accurate information as you can, uh, because per uh, campus, only one ambassador would be onboarded. So you have to make sure that your, uh, your representation stands out the best in order to uh, be onboarded as a campus ambassador. Uh, for the first stage, you would have to uh, register through the link. That would be the first stage of assessments. And once all the registrations are complete and post 10th of April, we would be assessing the registra uh, registered uh, students and be calling the uh, candidates for the second phase of assessments, which would be a case solving and presentation followed by an interview, either face-to-face -face or via telephone. Um, so uh, the registration is just the initial phase. There's nothing to get phased by uh, during that process. Make sure you just put in the best information that you can put forward about yourself. Uh, the CVs would definitely be a big point. So make sure the CV highlights your most uh, 
uh, your accomplishments the best and the hard skills and soft skills that you would bring forward to the table uh, the best. Um, so that was pretty much it for the virtual session. Uh, any questions that you might have are welcome in the chat box and, and in the QA, Q and A section. Um, I would be keeping the floor open for the next 15 minutes for any questions you might have. And I'll be answering them both live and in the chat box uh, according to whatever is comfortable for you. So, so please, please go ahead and uh, put forward your questions. Thank you. So we already have a few questions coming in. Um, there will be more than one candidate who wants to be campus ambassador, of course. How will you select the ambassador from all of the registered candidates? Okay, so for the initial stage, we will be taking on all of the registrations per university, um, making sure we have a good bunch of people with amazing talents coming forward. So from the first stage of selections based on the, the amount of reach they have within the university community, the hard skills and soft skills that they bring to the table, and depending upon their answer to a few crucial questions that we have in the registration phase, uh, we will be taking on the candidates to the second phase of assessments, which would be the case solving and presentation round, whereby the candidates will be given a case to solve within a specific timeline, and then they will be asked to present their solutions face to face or on virtual call. And uh, after the presentation round, an interview will be conducted. Um, either face to face or on telephone and at the end of it the campus ambassadors per campus would be selected i hope that answers your question well uh, mr zahir hassan okay so another one is what is university registration number so uh, there is a unique identity number or an id number that is given to the students uh per university. Uh, it is often uh, an ID number or a roll number for sections. Uh, that would suffice as a university registration number. The reason we're collecting it is to make sure that um, no external parties can join in under the name of a specific university. It is just for the sake of cross-checking. So there's no reason to be worried about it. If you're a part of a university, just put forward your unique identification number, be it the ID number or the roll number. Um, another question we have is, what is the qualifications uh, you're looking for in an ambassador? Um, uh, we are currently looking for second and third year students who would be proactive, outgoing, and creative, uh, who would be willing to identify problems from data sets and information, be creative enough to come up with solutions for them and be outgoing enough to execute those solutions and see the results for themselves upfront. And during all of these processes, of course, they would be mentored uh, by our esteemed employees who have been looking after certain sectors for a very long time. Uh, so for the uh, initial qualification phase, of course, we would be seeing these traits within the candidates during the second phase of assessments. And during the first phase of assessments, we would be looking at the soft skills and the hard skills that the candidates would be bringing on board, along with the reach that they would have within the communities that they're coming from, meaning the university and the reach or the interaction level they have within uh, their specific university. I hope that was a good answer to your question. Um, um, the floor is still open to anybody with any queries. Please go ahead. The responsibilities of a campus ambassador. Okay, so the campus ambassador would be our face on the uh, campus that they are a part of. Our face means the face of Dabur Bangladesh. They would be representing whatever uh, products, uh, campaigns, and launches that we might have ongoing on their campus, as well as outside the campus at different uh, points of interaction. Um, okay. 
uh, yeah, so there would be our faces at different points of interaction for our various campaigns and initiatives, as well as new product launches that we might have ongoing, so as to meet out the majority of the people and uh, have an outreach within the community at a greater level that they are a part of. So those will suffice the initial uh, responsibilities of a campus ambassador. Apart from this, the ambassadors will also get to be parts of various projects from the ideation to the execution level, depending upon the skills that they bring forward on the table. So I hope that answers your question. Is there any issue such as Dabur Bangladesh a campus ambassador can't involve with another organization as a campus ambassador if he or she has selected? Okay, um, yes, it would be a requirement that our campus ambassadors only represent our company uh, at a specific time. They're of course welcome to go ahead um, and involve with other companies once they have completed their campus ambassadorship period, but during the one year that they would be associated with us, they would only require to be associated with Dabur at the time. Um, no, there is no registration fee required for registration. You just have to sign up through the registration link available on our Facebook page. Um, and that's pretty much it. We would be seeing you in the second phase of assessments. Okay, so if there are no more questions right now, we can go ahead and close the session. Of course, all of your queries would be answered on our Facebook careers page should you have any moving forward. So please feel free to knock us on the page and our representatives will answer all of your queries within a short period of time. Um, for the time being, go ahead and register at the link. It is currently available on our Facebook page. The link closes on 10th of April and uh, that's it. Hope to see all of you soon and hope to see a lot of faces from your from your university joining in and uh, joining us on the second phase of assessments. Thank you very much for joining the session. Have a very good evening.